Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault and today I'm coming to you with an unboxing video. Today's unboxing video is going to be on a pistol that I just recently picked up. This is the SIG SP2022. One of the things about this gun that interested me was I didn't own one. I have a pretty extensive SIG collection and I know that some people kind of are down on this gun. They say, well, it's the Palmer version of the Legacy P series of guns. It's not as good as, let's say, the P226 or the P229. And I fully agree. Also, in the past, I did review one of these pistols and I didn't like it. I was accused of being a shill, a hack, or whatever type of pejorative word that you can come up with because many times when people watch my videos, they're looking for content confirmation bias and maybe they own one of these and absolutely love it but I said in that video I only have a sample set of one at that time and when I shot it it had some false resets essentially I would release the trigger and there would be some tactile and audible clicks it fooled me a couple times and because of that I didn't like it and I gave it a low score but I'm here to show you today that just because I might negatively review a gun doesn't mean I'm not going to buy one myself because sometimes guns have a particular fit in my collection. I didn't have one of these and I find it actually historically interesting. I also have a feeling that SIG may discontinue this in the very near future. So who knows? It's a quality pistol. People do like it and it might be worth something in the future. But right now, it's just a polymer framed 226 or 229 legacy style P series gun. But let me adjust the camera. Let's unbox this. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this pistol. All right, so here is the box this particular pistol comes in. The box you may have, if you own one of these, might be a little bit different because this pistol has been in production for over 20 years, and it is the last of the SIG Pro series that is still in production. And I believe that's where the nomenclature of SP before the model number comes, meaning SIG Pro. Now, the number 2022, I believe, refers to a French police contract. They were the first big contract for this pistol and that contract was supposed to run until 2022 and as of me filming this video it is 2022 so my gut says this pistol which is not a big seller here in the United States and now that these contracts are coming up I believe this might be a discontinued model so who knows maybe one of these days this might be a valuable model it's not gonna be right now but I wanted one anyway before I couldn't get one. Another interesting thing to talk about when it comes to the history of this pistol is this is the pistol that almost got the CEO of Sig Sauer arrested. Ron Cohen, president and CEO of Sig Sauer USA, got a bunch of contracts for South America for militaries and police. And they could not keep up production of this gun here in the USA, so he started to build some of them in Germany. Now, German law says you cannot sell a firearm or ship a firearm to a country in conflict. And at that time, Colombia was a country in conflict. And even though SIG was shipping the guns to the USA and then shipping them to Colombia, Germany found out and tried to arrest the CEO. He did not spend any jail time, but he was fined and arrested and they had to go through a whole legal battle. So this pistol has just a really interesting history when it comes to SIG Sauer. Another reason why I found it fascinating. You guys know I like guns for more than what they actually are, but the history behind them. Let's go ahead and see what's in this box. Of course, we get the pistol here, but let's see, we have an extra magazine first. And one of the downsides of this model is these magazines are not interchangeable with the legacy gun, so this will not fit in a 229 or a 226. So if you own both, you gotta buy two different styles of magazines. I think it mainly has to do with the base plate. Of course, you get your owner's manual, says, join the NRA today. No, thank you. I will not be doing that. But I do think we get some swag in here, some stickers and things. Yeah, there we go. We'll put that up there. And then, of course, we get the pistol itself. Let's set this box aside. Let's get this out of the plastic. We will remove this little hang tag here. Looks like this was put on 
little bit more complex than normal. There we go. All right, let's pull this slide back. Let's get this empty chamber indicator out of the way and let's take a look at this pistol. Now, as you can see, it looks just like a 229 or a 226. It has all the same controls. So if the hammer is back, you have that frame mounted decocker and the slide stop is in the same spot as one of those other guns. But the design of this is different and the takedown is a little bit different as well. There's that other magazine. Let's go ahead and take this gun down and just see how it differs from the standard SIG Legacy guns. So I think this kind of comes apart a little bit more like a Browning High Power, especially because it has this really long slide stop, just like a Browning High Power. So on the other SIGs, you have a lever up here. On this one, you're gonna bring it all the way back to the disassembly notch, and then you can push out, and this is a little bit tricky for me, you can push out that lever and sometimes it's a little bit harder than others. Right now this pistol is brand new, so this might be a little bit more difficult than it normally is, and I'm struggling with it just a little bit here. Let's see if I can get this out. There we go. I got it out. Now the slide should come off the front. Of course, you can take out the recoil spring and the barrel for cleaning. So there you go, kind of normal in that way. Let's put this back together. The slide will go on the frame. And then once it is on, you can push the beginnings of the slide stop through. That will hold the barrel in place. Then you can bring the slide all the way back to that disassembly notch. And then you should be able to simply push this all the way through. And there you go. And now the firearm is back together. So a little bit more difficult and a little bit different than your standard SIG firearms. But there it is, the SP2022. I didn't own one of these. These are not a very collectible gun or desirable gun right now, but who knows, maybe one day they will. I really wanted to find one in Flat Dark Earth that they used to make, but that model has been discontinued and they only made a few of those. So I just got a new production one and we'll just see what happens in the future. Will this be discontinued? I have no idea. It's just not a hot seller, but I needed one for the collection. So there you go, my unboxing of the Six Hour SP2022 and what I know about it. What do you guys think? Do you like this pistol? Did you ever think I would buy one after reviewing one so negatively? Love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.